I had what most people in tech dream of, a job at a fang company. If you're new to tech, fang stands for Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. They are the frontiers of software engineering and they are the companies that everyone wants to work for. The pay was great, the perks were insane, and my parents finally stopped questioning my life decisions. But why did I walk away from all of that? The real reason might surprise you and it's not what you think. But before I reveal what led me to take this crazy massive decision, let's rewind a bit. I had just started college and I knew nothing about coding. Started grinding my and pulling all nighters to get good at data structures and algorithms as soon as possible. Everyone around me already knew coding a lot and they were already candidate masters on code courses. I was left far behind, still struggling with four loops. However, I managed to scrape through, practiced a lot through the whole year, and I solved 500 plus problems on lead code and I managed to get up to expert on code courses. Now I knew I have to land an internship in my second year. And obviously the most reputed choice was Fang. I knew I had to get good at web development and system design. So I took up educative.io's courses. They have amazing courses on each of the web frameworks. I did two projects on Node.js, two on Django and Flask, and one on Spring Boot. And that more or less covered all the concepts that were necessary for web development. And I also took up many system design courses as well. Low level system design, high level system design. And overall, I was ready to face any interview. It was literally a dream come true moment when I was able to get an interview call from Google. And I passed all the coding rounds with flying colors. Finally, got assigned to a cloud AWS team in Google. And I did so well that I got a return offer. But here's the thing, behind all that glamour and fanciness, I felt like something was missing. Something didn't add up, but I didn't fully realize it. One day something happened at work and that made me question everything. I'll get to it in a bit, but first let's talk about what everyone gets wrong about Fang. Most people think that working at Fang is all about innovation and changing the world. But here's what nobody tells you. A lot of the work is just maintaining massive systems, sitting in meetings and following processes. And there's zero ownership. One year at a fan company is equivalent to only one month at a startup. Honestly, I felt I wasn't utilizing my full potential and I felt a bit suffocated at work. Around this time, I was trying out different clubs on my campus, so I decided to check out an entrepreneurial club on my campus. I thought it would be mostly about boring startups and business plans. But what I heard there and I learned there completely changed my life. Someone started talking about this thing called GPT and transformers, how AI was evolving so fast and how it could actually replace human jobs. I was shocked. I mean, I had heard about AI, but I didn't realize how real and close the threat actually was. That night I couldn't sleep. I started researching on all the AI models and machine learning models and these new models that were changing the world. The more I learned, the more I realized that if I didn't dive in right now, I'd be left far behind. Did you know by 2030, around 30 million jobs all over the world would be replaced by AI? And it's not just a theory. Countless people are being laid off right now and almost 30% of workers all over the world have already lost their jobs to AI. So yeah, I definitely took the right decision jumping into AI and machine learning right away. So of course I went all in. I started with Andrew Ng's legendary machine learning courses, backed it with Educative.io's generative AI courses, deep learning, NLP, NPTEL's courses, amazing. I built project after project. My weekends, my evenings, even my lunch breaks all went into mastering machine learning and AI as soon as possible. But here's the thing, breaking into ML isn't easy. I applied to what felt like a million companies online and most never replied. Honestly, some of them rejected me so fast, I don't think they even read my resume. And the market is becoming worse day by day. If you have ever been ghosted by a company, type me in the comments so I know that I am not alone. And if you were able to get past that, definitely share your story. It might help someone else. By the way, if you are going ahead with your ML and AI journey all by yourself, and I would recommend an amazing AI tool that has helped me and will definitely help you. It's NodeGPT.io. It's like having an AI study buddy. You can drop in an amazing YouTube video link that you want to explore and it can summarize it for you. You can chat with it as easily as a PDF. You can create mind maps and presentations out of it and even flashcards to help you learn anything from any video. 
For example, for Python, I often recommend this programming with Mosh YouTube playlist, which is very long. So if you want to generate quick flashcards for quick revision, NodeGPT is an amazing tool. It's perfect for anyone who wants to work smarter, not harder. Definitely check out the link in description. And then finally, I got an offer. Not a big name, but a small startup called Turbulent. I'll be honest, I was a bit skeptical at first. I did not know what I was getting into. And if I accepted this offer, then I would have to let go of my return offer from Google. That's right. It was a huge decision. I would lose my only ticket back to Google, all for a company that most people had never even heard of. Was I making a huge mistake? I had no idea. But here's the thing. AI startups are actually outpacing Pang in both innovation and opportunity. AI startups are growing at a record pace. In 2025, AI startup funding hit an all-time high, and many of them are luring talent away from the big tech companies. Yes, that's right. Even as a fresher, you are given to lead teams and lead products end-to-end -end and ship it lightning fast speed. And plus, the thing that you're all waiting for, AI startup actually pays more as an entry-level fresher than at FANG. I am the testimonial to that. Starting salaries for AI startup engineers actually rose by 12% from 2024 to 2025 and are still rising right now. Would you take a risk for a small startup if it meant giving up for a high-paying job? Yes or no? Tell me in the comments. My first week at TurboML was nothing like Google. No onboarding, no fanciness, no endless documentation. Just directly we started working on the product. Just a small team, big dreams, and real problems to solve. Every day was different. Every day was challenging. If you have ever worked at a startup, what was your experience? Or if you're thinking about working at a startup, what are your biggest fears? Drop them in the comments and we'll have a discussion. I'll reply as soon as possible. Promise. Here's something wild. AI is actually expected to eliminate almost half of the entry-level white-collar jobs by the next five years. And the flip side, AI is actually expected to create millions of jobs for the people with the right skills. So if you're learning AI and ML, you are not actually future-proofing your career, but actually getting ahead of the curve. And the biggest lesson, it's not about prestige or power. It's about growth. It's about being relevant. And it's about knowing the right skills that can get you ahead of the crowd and keep you worry-free. Otherwise, you will always be in the constant fear of losing your job to AI. AI skills are becoming more important than job experience. I am a fresher working as a machine learning engineer. If I can do it, so can you. What do you think was the one skill that will be the most relevant in the next five years? Comment down below and I'll get to you.